Welcome back to another video. Uh, I really do appreciate um, you guys still watching my channel, uh, still supporting my, uh, my videos, uh, subscribing to the channel, and actually I gained a few followers on Instagram just because you guys um, watch my videos and care uh, so much as much as I do about fishing and hunting. Now there are a few things I wanna say before I announce what this video is about. First thing I'm going to announce is if you watched not my last video, but the video before that, my archery practicing video. Now, I had a lot of people give mixed emotions about it. Um, I had people say, you know, uh, it wasn't safe. The majority said it wasn't safe for my uh, girlfriend to be standing as close as it was to the target. Now, my response to that is uh, you are right, 100% right. I've been really thinking about it these past few days. And um, as a archery hunter, as a avid rifle hunter, uh, nobody ever should stand that close to the target even though she was let's just say 20 yards horizontally away from the target now arrows do get away from people that have been shooting for years um, I've only been archery hunting for about four years you know I don't have that much experience with it so if something would have happened you know that would have been on me and it was completely my fault so I did want to state that I know it was my fault there won't be another video um, that somebody is standing um, in front of me while I am shooting my bow. Uh, I have figured out how to use the camcorder um, efficiently, so if I ever wanna do another practicing video, she will be standing uh, either beside me or behind me with the camcorder on full uh, zoom. So that, that was my fault and it will not happen again. Now, the reason why we are doing this video, I've wanted to do this uh, for a while. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I knew how to work my camera equipment and everything before I did this video. So right now I'm going to upload uh, or show you what I'm doing. Now, this guy just pulled beside me so I can't show you what I'm doing so I might as well just tell you. Today we are going to Walmart to buy a $25 or buy $25 worth of stuff to fish with. Now I want to include a rod and a reel and baits. So that's kind of where I'm at with um, the $25 mark. I want to at least get a rod and a reel and baits. So that's kind of uh, the whole thing of this video is if I can get a rod and reel with some baits, with some different baits um, for under $25 or $25. So I'm headed in there now and we are going to see what our options are. Okay guys, so Walmart is jam packed today. Um, I'm going to be talking at a whisper, um, but I will be showing you my options going through Walmart and hopefully getting uh, a nice setup for today's video. Okay guys, so we are in the fishing section of Walmart and I'm looking at my options. Now, this guy right here, this combo rod and reel is 10 bucks. So, you know what? I don't think that's too bad of a deal. You know, that's not too bad. It already has line on it, which is awesome. It's a Zepco slingshot, 10 bucks. So you know what, we're gonna carry this around, see what our other options are, but this guy might be the one we're taking home. So I am going to decide on the Zepco slingshot uh, for 10 bucks, that gives us a lot of room to work with for baits. So um, we're actually gonna purchase this rod and we're gonna pick out some baits. Now, right now I'm thinking about getting some spinner baits. It looks like they're only a dollar. So that would save us so much money um if we could get these guys this nice white kind of looks good i might get that one black might be a good option we should try this yellow one because if you guys remember in the video where i met the good old game warden i caught a really nice bass on a yellow and green spinner bait it was a little bit smaller than this but i think 
think that's the way we should go. So I have three spinner baits. So we're looking at $13 is what we have right now. Alrighty, so I'm looking over here at the jigs and we might get a little bit of uh, a blue and a black jig. Um, they're only $1.76. All right, so now that um, we got the jigs, um, I'm thinking about looking at plastics. So if you remember in a video a while ago, I caught a really nice bass on a chatter bait, but I used um, craw from Guggen bait. So we are going to look for something similar. I'm not seeing anything that similar. The only thing I could think of that would look similar is this power bait here. We could go with something like this, but we want like a green pumpkin color because that's what I think they're going to be biting on uh, sitting on the bottom. So we're going to keep looking and see if we can find it. Okay, guys, so the only change that I made is um, instead of the green pumpkin, I went with a black and blue flake. Um, so kind of where we're at, we're getting the Zepco rod for $9 these guys for two something uh these worms for 88 cents this power bait here i think we're like four bucks something like that we're getting three different kinds of spinners so for a dollar a piece we're getting two bass jigs so that's kind of the setup for today right there that's kind of what we're going to be taking with us Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. The total was $25.99. Um, the reason why I was 99 cents over is because I got a drink. I am thirsty as ever. Um, we are going to our spot now. I'm going to head back to Johnstown. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am in Blairsville. So I'm a little bit far away. I'm about 35 minutes away from Johnstown. So we're going to head home now and hopefully have a fish on the end of this rod today. So I'm just gonna drive around town and see if I can fish anywhere. I don't know if I'm allowed to fish here, but there's no posted signs or anything. I mean, I guess it's fish at your will. Um, I'm going to try and fish down here a little bit, um, but we'll see how it goes. You never know. Um, somebody could come up to me and say, hey, you're not allowed to fish here, and I get up and go and find another spot. So we are going to head down to this spot and hopefully catch a nice one. we are down here um, I'm gonna string up this rod and I think I'm gonna put a spinner bait on it at first um, I honestly have no clue what's here um, I do not know if anything's gonna bite I've never been here before uh, so uh, I think this is this is definitely a part of the Connemaw River downtown Johnstown um, and I also just realized that this actually has probably 10 pound test on it um, so it's not too bad uh, it's definitely good for bass, but what I'm going to throw on first out of our awesome collection is I think I'm going to start off with the green and hopefully catch a nice fish here. Okay, guys, I did also want to mention it is super hot here, um, but uh, we're going to keep on fishing in it. Uh, we got this little spinner bait here. And hopefully I don't fall on this mud. We're going to cast it out and see where we can go with it. Not too bad of a cast for a cheap $10 rod. You can definitely feel bottom. 
so this is pretty shallow but we're gonna try it out so uh, the spinner bait wasn't working too well so I think I'm just gonna jig around with this guy right here it's a small little jig it's a strike king that I bought with uh, the power bait craw I'm gonna break that apart so you get a little bit more action to it but we're just gonna try and jig it up off the bottom it is a hot day today so they could be just sitting bottom and just want a little snack so we're gonna cast this out and see if we can get anything good okay guys so went fishing or at this one spot it's super muddy so my all my, my whole feet's covered in mud uh, it's a mess so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to relocate. Uh, I've been here for about two hours and I have not caught a single thing. Uh, don't know if whether I was getting bites or it was just the river taking um, my bait and banging it off rocks, but this just isn't the spot for the baits I have today. And I really don't wanna use any other baits than what I got at Walmart for this challenge. So, uh, we are going to move along to another spot that I know. Hopefully I can catch a nice fish, um, even a small guy I'd be happy with. But I'm gonna be hiking up these stairs and we're gonna relocate. All right, so we are at the new spot. Uh, I've been here a lot, um, Elton Dam. Uh, we've been here a ton of times. Uh, but the nice thing about this is I'm, j I'm using the jigs, I'm using the swim baits, and there's a lot of vegetation now because um, it's about mid to end of summer. So we're going to walk down here, hopefully get on this side, and then maybe go into the vegetation on this side and use um, a, a lot of those jigs and stuff and hopefully catch a nice fish. I might even Texas rig. I know um, I'll be weightless i won't have a weight because i didn't buy those at walmart but at least i can kind of get a cast out because the uh, heaviness of the bait so we'll just see um, i'm gonna put this on the chest mount and hopefully catch a nice fish okay guys so um i walked around there and there's really not a way to get back there um especially since i'm in not the best hiking shoes uh, I'm going to try here, and I think I have boots in my car, so I'm going to try here first. I'll trade out, I'll switch out my shoes, and then I'll walk that way. But for now, we're going to try here, see if we, that we can even get a bite, because I think this $9 rod can cast as far out to that vegetation. So maybe we'll be able to snag something. So I'm going to hike down this and get out casting. Okay, guys, uh, so I'm sitting here thinking... It's probably around 80 some degrees today. It's hot. And then I touch the water and it's hot. It's like not even cold. Um, I've been fishing out here for probably two and a half hours and I am exhausted. I'm sweating like crazy. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to relocate to the other side. It's just hot. So after I make my decision, um, I'm going to figure out what to do. Alright guys, uh, I honestly feel like crap. Um, I was fishing there and it just got so hot and I didn't bring any water or anything with me. Um, all I have is this tea and it's hot. So it doesn't even help. Um, I think the sun is getting to me, getting the best of me. And I'm just like exhausted I'm starting to get a headache so what I think I might do is head home uh, in the cold uh, recuperate and then I think I'm going to continue this video so uh, I'm gonna end this here but I'll restart it up around probably tomorrow tomorrow afternoon tomorrow night but we are not sleeping on this challenge. We are getting it done, all right? We are not slackers. We're gonna do it, and once we're finished with it, I'm gonna post it. So, uh, I think I might do this in sections. So this might be part one. Uh, tomorrow might be part two. You know, I, I'll go on with this. But um, for right now, uh, we have not caught any fish, and I fished probably about five hours. Uh, all day today 
early this afternoon and now late this afternoon. So, uh, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my videos. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Um, I do appreciate it. I like reading the comments. I might be a little late on them, but I do like reading them. Uh, other than that, you know, we will probably be on here tomorrow, and I will po post each segment every time I record it. So, this could be a five-part video if uh, it takes that long, but I am not giving up on this challenge. So, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.